With me today is Rodney McCall, and he's a pump expert, and he's going to tell us about this technology and how this technology, how we can make the most of it. So tell us about these pumps and why they're different than the standard run-of-the-mill uh, uh, pool pumps. The standard single-speed pump on a pool today is about 40 to 70 percent efficient. The IntelliFlow uses a permanent magnet motor, and the efficiency of that motor is about 92 percent. So that means a conventional single-speed motor is wasting as much as two-thirds of the energy that goes into it? That's right, Steve. Pool pumps have been oversized for a long time. And the pump that was on here, the single-speed, one-and-a-half horsepower pump, turned the pool over in three-and-a-half hours. Really, it's like a dragster driving to the store. You know, you don't need that much power. With a variable speed technology, we can slow that the speed of the pump down and really reduce the electricity. And help out with better filtration as well. well. You know, with the with the single speed pump, you're running it, you, you, know, you turn over the pool in three hours, that means if you're just running it for that period of time, for 21 hours a day, you're not filtering, you're not mixing the chemicals in the water, and with the variable speed pump, we can extend that filtration time out and do the, the things that we want to do. Filter the pool, keep the water clean. Now, there are certain things that uh, you want to raise the, the speed of the pump up to satisfy a certain flow rate for, say, a heater or uh, a cleaner. For instance, on this pool, we had a waterfall, and we noticed that when we're, when a, a pipe can hold a certain amount of water. When we're running the pump at 3450 and we're trying to push a lot of flow through that pipe, you're wasting a lot of energy. And what we saw on this swimming pool here is... Uh, that we could run it at a slower flow rate and half the electricity. Another benefit of it is, you know, you had, you, you had one flow on this particular swimming pool. And uh, with variable speed, you can vary that speed and different, get different looks and different sounds. And yeah, right on, on this pool, a matter of fact, at the highest speed, you almost had to raise your voice to talk over. The noise was so great, but being able to have those different levels, you could drop that down and actually dial in that to get the best look at the lowest cost. And oddly enough, the watt difference was quite a bit. I mean, at the highest, uh, it was drawing almost 2,200 watts, as I recall, uh, at the, with the single speed pump. And then we, uh, we brought the flow down uh, to a nice little trickle over the waterfall, and we were consuming somewhere around 200 watts. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, Rodney, in summary, this this pool was using about 12 to 50. Well, actually, about 16 kilowatt hours a day. That ended up being close to $2,000 a year. Dropping this back down to running about 200 watts in its normal mode uh, reduced the cost of operating this pool to about $600. That's correct. The pump's quieter. The neighbors are happier, and uh, the customers a lot happier. They've got a lot more options. Well, I think great information. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Steve. Yeah.